Hello Luna loves! I'm so excited! My Witch's Moon subscription box is here! Uh, I was gonna wait to record this, but I just couldn't. Alright. This is gonna tell me what everything is. I'm not gonna look at it, because I'm pretty sure I can guess what most of the things are. And if I can't, then I'll look at it. And I'll read more about it anyway. Let's see. Really, really pretty card. Oh, that's a light from the window is not. There we go. Really pretty card. Yin Yang symbol. It says, Caution the Goat. Multiple colors blind your eyes. Discordant sounds deafen your ears. Pause. Carefully seek out and think through your options. This may not be the right time. Don't be afraid, but be cautious. Consider both sides of the story. That's interesting. Has to, am I gonna apply that to my job hunt maybe? Let's see what we got. Really, really pretty picture. The goats and this really big, was that a river, a waterfall? Looks like it's both. There's two goats and then there's two birds in the air, so I'm thinking maybe the number two has something to do with this as well. I'll look that up later. Ooh, is this like a sigil? Some kind of Icelandic Faroese symbol maybe. Very, very pretty. Okay, let's... Magic of Merlin. This is some kind of incantation or ritual. It's just printed out on a piece of paper. Let me read it. Within the hands of ancients lie a candle's flame side by side. I come before myself and I to connect with those much wiser, much high. Through guidance, through insight of mine, bless these tools with magic signs. Show me how, show me why. Show me signs, O great divine. I seek your spirit, Blessed be known, as above, so below. Within the hands of ancients lie a candle's flame side by side. Very nice. So this has to do with connecting with our ancestors and getting the wisdom of the ancients. I like. Oh! Oh, this is so pretty! Oh, my Norwegian blood is really excited. It's a really pretty printout of runes. Ah! I guess that's a Valkyrie and that's obviously Odin. Oh, and it's got all the runes and the descriptions. Oh my goodness. Ah. Yeah, my great grandfather actually came here from Norway. So I'm like really into like my whole Viking heritage, even though I'm probably just related to some random fishermen and not Vikings, but it's just, you know, cultural history. Very exciting. Oh. Norse tradition attributes the discovery of the runes to the Allfather, Odin god of inspiration, prophecy, communication, wisdom, crossroads, and the dead. During a particular quest, Odin sought the mythical well of Mimir, a well of collective unconsciousness and all knowledge. To gain the wisdom of the well and receive the gift of the runes, Odin plucked out his own eye, sacrificing his mundane vision to achieve prophetic insight. Considered the oldest of the runic alphabets, the Elder Futhark was an actual writing system used by Germanic tribes circa 2nd to 8th century CE, in addition to being a writing system, runes historically served magical purposes, acting as a divinatory system to di directly communicate with the gods and relay messages to and from other worlds. This is so pretty! Actually, I had on my current altar, I think Degas was on there, which is Awakening, a breakthrough transformation, the position between light and dark, positive spiritual change. And Suilu is also on my Suilo, on my altar for success, achievement, divine energy, life force, the source, growth, leadership, guidance, and enlightenment. And then I had Menaz, which is humanity, collective unconsciousness, the social order, being a part of the whole, mortality, intellectual, and altruistic endeavors. Oh, it's so nice. So based on what I did with my rune casting and what I read in my books, and then based on this description, it really does sound like I'm about to have some kind of transition with my career and it's going to be a more like charitable, altruistic type thing rather than just my generic um, retail job that I have right now. So here's hoping. I'm totally framing this. It is gorgeous. That was on the top and then we have this 
beautiful burgundy paper. It's one of my favorite colors. Sit on my couch. Let's see. Ooh. And then got this all wrapped up in there with the little noodle paper. And let me open this this package. Ooh. Ooh, this looks like um a pillar for a candle candle holder and it's a pentacle pentagram upside down oh I'm showing it backwards look at all the pretty leaves on it it is such nice quality oh it's so nice oh I can't wait to read about it this is definitely going in the center of my altar <laughs> so you know how I was showing it like this it goes like this I just saw the thing in the top to put the candle in <laughs> Okay, I'm embarrassed. That makes more sense though, with the stronger base. Much better, and now the pentagram isn't upside down. Yeah, okay, so. Ooh, tea bag. So there's tea in here somewhere. Oh, I feel, I can tell. I can feel the little, these are runes. I bet you they're runes. Oh, I'm so excited the Ancestor box is all Norse themed. Ah. The sad thing is I already have two sets of runes, one I made and one I bought at uh, Barnes & Noble, so, yep. But it's nice because they're on like little little pieces of like wood. Ah, this is so pretty. Ooh, this feels like a candle. Ooh. Ooh, the box smells good. I think that's the tea. Mmm, very herby. Oh, there's two candles. Almost look like parchment wrapped up together. I don't know if you can see the folds. Maybe, maybe not. Can you know? Can you kind of see the 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 folding? Like right here, it's folded, and then like right here is folded around each other. That's very nice. I don't have two holders. Whoops. I don't have two holders for these. I only have one, so I might have to go buy me one. Ooh, here's tea. Damiana Leek. This is either herbs or tea, I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it says da Damiana Leaf. Leaf. Hmm, smell it. Hmm. It smells like parsley. Very, very mild. Okay, what's this? Oh, there's this other one. Um, pawpaw herb. Mm, yep. Pawpaw herb. Let's see. Hmm. That also smells like parsley, a little bit stronger though. Interesting. Ooh, bath salts. Ooh. There's nothing on it, just this like this loop. There's no there's no words, so I smell it. Ooh! Hmm. It's kind of like got a really mild sweet orange, like a subtle citrus slash extremely mild peppermint. Hmm, very interesting. What is this? Guided Vision Crimson Tea. That sounds like a fun experience. It does have a little like resealable pouch, so I'm gonna open it and smell it. Wow, that's, that's extremely, like, fruity. Hmm. What does that remind me of? You know Celestial Seasonings, like, berry zinger? That's kind of re what it reminds me of. Like, raspberry. I'm not really into fruity teas, but I will give it a shot. Let's see, what else do I have? Ooh, here's the incense. Mm-hmm, that's what made the box. Oh, that smells nice. Hmm. How could I describe this? It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's woody, but it's like almost like, like men's cologne kind of, but there's a, a fruit element. I don't, it's very fresh. I, I, I can, I picture myself following this, this trail of mystical purple and blue smoke through this dark path in the woods to some secret circle of elders 
chanting. Ooh, this looks like some kind of oil. Let's see, speak to me. Ooh, look at all the little herbs in there. Ooh, wow. That's pungent. I mean, not in a bad way, but... I don't want to say cloves, but it's like in that family. Hmm. I think this is the last thing. Cute little red pouch. Mm -hmm. This might be a crystal. <gasps> it is a crystal. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> Here, I got it. Uh, I don't know. It kind of reminds. It's it's like looks like garnet, but I know I don't think it is. I think it might be. Could be red calcite. I will find out. Time for the paper. Let's see. Ancient Council of the Sprites. That is a lot of information. This piece of parchment paper for me to write on. Our lives are filled with experiences that are beyond our control. When these experiences impact our world, we step back to understand the purpose behind it all. We truly embrace the potent strength of accountability, responsibly taking these experiences into our own hands so that we may grow and become bigger than ourselves. We do not wait for experiences to happen to us, but are prepared and take action to create the results that are channeled through our higher selves. We pay great respects while asking for ancient counsel from our guides so that they may show us signs and synchronicities that may guide us into victorious territory. We commit ourselves through practice and knowledge seeking so that we may cultivate a more intimate experience with our guides. In a world of so many uncertainties, we embrace our ability to sharpen our senses and become aware of the potential threats and opportunities through the signs that are blessed to us by ancient counsel. I mean, I'm smelling the paper because I like the smell of paper. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to like open old books and just sniff them and it has that attic-y old paper smell. I like it. See. Okay, so the Witch's Pentacle Candle Holder. This beautifully crafted pentacle candle holder is a great addition to your altar and will prove to enhance the depth of your ritual. Pentacle has been used as a sacred symbol for over 8,000 years. Resonating symbolism behind the pentagram reminds us that we have the ability to bring spirit to the earth, giving us the power to become whole. Elder Futhark Runes with Velvet Pouch. These runes have been burned into poplar wood, known for its qualities of abundance, independence, and resilience. As a divination tool, rune means mystery, whisper, or secret. They have been used by the ancients as a form of oracle in strenuous situations in need of guided counsel. Magic of Merlin Candle Pair with Spell. Oh, so that Merlin spell went with the candles. Okay. We have created these sacred candles with the purpose of creating a stronger bond to the connection of spirit that brings forth ancient knowledge and guidance. We have created two candles for you to use during your ritual. These can be used one at a time or both, as you see necessary for your intention. Oh good, these candles have been enchanted with a special mixture of our spiritual guidance oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. This candle is accompanied by a spell from our Book of Shadows that we recommend reciting out loud three to seven times while burning your candle. Okay. Veg the Seer Sigil. Okay, so that's, that's this thing. That thing. Veg the Seer. To accompany you on your journey of true purpose and fulfillment, we have included a hand-painted copy of our interpretation of the Vegvasir Magical Stave. Known as the Icelandic Wayfinder, this magical stave was created to assist us in finding our way through rough weather. As written in the Hold Manuscript in 1880, the Vegvasir was written next to the following inscription. If this sign is carried, one will never lose one's way in storms or bad weather, even when the way is not known. Take comfort in the ancient energy that the stave holds within its lines. Speak to me magical oil. This speak to me magical anointing oil has been created with the intention of drawing forth signs and synchronicities into view. We recommend anointing your skin, candles, or jewelry with this oil so that you may become more able to recognize messages during ritual or daily life. We have enchanted this magical oil with cinnamon and peppermint essential oils and have included mugwort, echinacea, and star anise as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemuri, Lemur, I can never, I can never say this word, Lemurian, Lemur, Lemurian quartz, said to personify oneness in your aura. I guess it's the mugwort I'm smelling, because, and maybe a little bit of the cinnamon, because it smells kind of like clove, and I've never smelled mugwort before. 
So I'm thinking that's the strongest scent that was in there. Spirit Calling Sacred Salts. Oh, sweet. I was right. <laughs> we have enchanted the sacred salt with cinnamon and sweet orange essential oils, as well as peppermint leaf and orange peel. Awesome. Red Moss Agate. Okay, I was wrong. I don't see what's mossy about it. Moss Agate has been a great addition to our practice while working to figure things out. The Red Moss Agate which is a more unlikely stone to find, is a fantastic harmonizer during hectic periods of life. Guided Vision Crimson Herbal Tea. This wonderful tea blend includes rooibos, hibiscus, currants, rose hips, elderberries, and cranberries. Okay, so I was right about the berry part. Pawpaw herb. Or papaya leaf. Huh. It's been included in many of our brews when working to banish evil and create sacred space. Papaya leaf can also be used to intensify relationships and connections with those close to you. Include in your bath or burn with powdered incense to reverse hexes and jinxes that have been that have impacted your life so that you may grow into the blessings of the year. Damiana leaf. Damiana or Damiana has long been used as a healing herb in Mexico and has gained fame for its aphrodisiac qualities. We like to use Damiana leaf in Tantra magic, allowing us to conduct astral travel, deep meditation, and spiritual quests. When burned, Damiana breaks down mental barriers and inhibitors, allowing oneself to increase their psychic abilities and clairvoyance. Sandalwood incense. Sandalwood? That did not smell like sandalwood. That smelled like something like way more intense and exotic. Personalized Oracle Reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Wisdom of Tao Oracle Cards by Mei Jin Lu to place inside your box. This card and the saying that it holds is meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing re realities of your world. It did seem relatable. Definitely gonna meditate on that later. Rune Book of Shadows artwork. This beautiful Book of Shadows artwork was created by Adrian Alvin exclusively for the Witch's Moon. As you perform your ritual, do not set expectations. Cast your intention and be of pure heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There's so much knowledge available to you. We urge you to stay curious and hungry for knowledge. Blessed be the witch's moon, previously the moon box. I think my favorite thing has, has got to be this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. It makes me so happy. Uh, it's so, and it's nice thick board too. Mm. Okay, I can kind of see the sandalwood now. It still smells a little more exotic than that, though. Hmm. Okay, well, that was really exciting and fun. I can't wait to do the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Good journey, love.